Yes, it is. The sense of loss is big around this South L.A. neighborhood. He was a trusted friend. He was a fellow vendor and his life tragically taken by a runaway truck. This woman cried as she recalled in Spanish what a good man street vendor Jose Rangel was. He sold secondhand tools to scratch out a living. Rangel was fatally struck by a stolen Amazon truck Thursday afternoon here at Main Street and 48th in South LA. Now a makeshift memorial with candles and flowers surrounded by shards of glass left behind from the powerful collision that pinned the father of three as he sold wares on the sidewalk. Friday morning, Van Hel's family gathered in that spot, including his widow, a child with Down syndrome, and his eldest son. Right now, we are just coming together as a family and just trying to stay strong in this time that is so unexpected, you know. My dad was a hard worker, and he was here doing just that. So, you know, I thank everyone that's come out here to show their support, everyone that's reached out to the family already, and we just hope that, you know, justice prevails. According to the LAPD, the tragic chain of events began about a mile away when Christian Ramos Sanchez stole an unattended Amazon truck. The suspect, unable to maneuver the cumbersome vehicle, lost control and hit Ron Hell and others. They walked away, but Ron Hell was pronounced dead at the scene. He got arrested for a vehicle uh, for a felony hit and run. Today, vendors in the area express deep sadness for the loss of their friend. An activist representing street vendors said these hardworking people are in dangerous circumstances all the time. They are very vulnerable, which is why we've sent out armed security and we gave them pepper sprays and body cameras. And it's uh, unprecedented what happened and it just shows uh, what they have to endure on an everyday basis, not just attackers, but also traffic. You can see the collection of votive candles behind us. A vigil is planned for tomorrow evening to remember the victim. As for the suspect, he's been booked for felony hit and run, and we are told he was already on probation for domestic violence. Chris and Alex, back to you. So terribly sad. Laura, thank you.